Arcanian question. Arcanian. Did I did mean, I Christian, still wanted to re respond on, to like uh, you feel, I'm a, I'm gonna shut up, but let me ask Arcanian a question. Did Christian did Christians what up, bro? the Christian slave owners did they did they rape little boys and little girls and grown men and grown women from the Americas all the way from North America to South America? Did they do that? They might have uh, been professing Christians or no. what have you. Did they do it? Yes or no? But uh, they absolutely did it. But I don't think that anybody truly in Christ would do that. So they might have been waving the flag of the Bible while they was doing it, just like a lot of wolves in sheep's clothing do today. I wouldn't doubt that. So you're right on that aspect. So if if that's what you're talking about, I'm with you. Right, right. So somehow these guys all shared the same spirit. All these slave owners who went to church on Sunday, they had the same spirit all across the nation. They oh. had this spirit. Uh, hello? Hold on, hello? Can I be heard? Can I be heard? Can I be heard? Yeah, you get me hurt. Yeah, um, you know, for I, I think that's the part where you go too far when you say, well, based on what you're you're everything that you're you're saying, you're concluding that all these people shared the same spirit. Uh that's the part where you go too far biblically. Um, matter of fact, I could actually take you to a parable that Jesus actually spoke about here in Matthew chapter 13. And it, it says this. He said that uh Jesus told another parable saying the kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed a good seed in his field, but everyone, uh, while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed seeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted from the, from the heads, the weeds also appeared. The owner's servant came to him and said, Sirs, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this he replied the servants asked him do you want us to go up and pull them up and he said no he answered because while you're pulling up the weeds you may root up the wheat with them let both grow together until the harvest at that time i will tell the harvesters first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. So, you know, just because you actually have, you know, a, a lot of uh, atrocities and, and, you know, people who are professing to be Christians and going to church and yet they do all this secret, sinful, terrible stuff on the side. And it's like, yo, how could you just be t comfortable with that? You know, it, it's, it's consistent with, you know, having sowing seeds of the devil, which is consistent with Jesus saying, hey, you know what? You say that Abraham is your father, but he said, mm -hmm. if Abraham was your father, you would actually do the works of Abraham. So he's saying you are of your father, the devil. So you mm -hmm. have a lot of, you have a lot of people in church. You have a lot of people in these places that, you know, that they're, they're Christians, but yet they struggle in sin. And then you have these other batch of people over here that say they're Christians, but they do some really interesting things and they still come to church okay, well, so the bible according to the bible you know those people are not who they profess to be they're they're the tares and um so for you to say we, said, we have already admitted that there's wheat and tares in the hebrew israelites or israelites we, we're saying on both sides so we're not arguing that there's wheat and tares in christianity there's wheat and tares in, in the israelites we've already established that right so they don't share the same spirit no, you like oh my. God. The problem that you're not seeing the the wait. Wait, G, mute. 